What's going on, everybody? This is Primetime James Thomas coming at you with another video, and uh, hopefully everyone's having themselves a great start to the weekend. Um, I know I have, that's for damn sure. Uh, but please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, don't be afraid to share the video as well. And tonight, I want to talk about uh, what happened on SmackDown tonight. Um, one of the highlights of uh, SmackDown tonight, and that's what they that's what they did with Cody Rhodes and um, AJ Styles uh, tonight. Um, for those who may not know, know uh, AJ Styles last week pretty much did the the Mark Henry promo from 10 years ago you know that classic Mark Henry promo with the pink jacket where he pretty much worked us he worked us he all has believing that he was going to retire until you know, he gave John Cena the world's strongest slam and gave us that iconic phrase I got a lot left in the tank you know, um, classic promo by Mark Henry, and they pretty much did like a, like a, not gonna lie, a great value, a save a lot, um, <laughs> version of that when they thought AJ Styles was gonna come out and cut a retirement. The only difference was my biggest complaint about it was it was so predictable. It was so predictable that AJ was gonna turn on Cody. Um, it wasn't like Mark Henry when it actually like legitimately threw us off. Like with AJ, we knew he wasn't gonna retire. Um, but it got the job done. And uh and I love what they did with Cody um and tonight's smack though. It's something that they should have been doing. And that is the fact that Cody Rhodes showed up to SmackDown, not dressed up, you no, know, not being all the dapper, you know, you know. Ultimate baby face Cody. This was Cody Rhodes that was out for blood. This was Cody Rhodes uh, that 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 wanted to stand on business. This was Cody Rhodes that wanted to fight. This man Cody Rhodes was in um, was in you no know, had on the Jordans, had on the track pants, you know, had on his own, had on his his fighting clothes on. Cody was not playing tonight, and he was waiting for AJ. He was waiting for AJ in the parking lot. He was waiting for AJ in the parking lot. So much show. Uh, Nick Aldis tried to cut. He came, he came to Cody trying to calm him down. Cody was like, "Listen, I hear what you're saying, but when Cody, I'm paraphrasing, but, but when but when AJ gets here, I'm whooping his ass. That's pretty much the gist of what Cody said. When he gets here, I'm gonna whoop his ass. And I'm like, yes. For the first of all, one people in the Discord will tell you this. I was on the Discord with uh with some of the guys. I was enjoying it, but I was irritated. So I was like, where was this Cody during the build towards WrestleMania with Roman and Rock? This man Rock was talking about his moms, all that stuff. And never once was Cody waiting in the parking lot for these niggas. They weren't. Cody was still being the ultimate babyface until the till the go home week of WrestleMania. This was one of the biggest critiques that me and MG had when it came to Cody, is that they make Cody act too much like a baby face. Too much of a good guy. Like, every now and then, it's okay to have your baby face show a little edge every now and then. And I thought that's what did with Cody here. So Cody's waiting on AJ all night. All night, right? And Cody's pacing. He's walking back and forth. He's wrapping his he's wrapping his, his fists up. He's pacing. He's pacing. He's pacing. Wait for AJ. Then AJ pulls up in an SUV with Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. AJ comes out the hood just taunting Cody. Just taunting Cody, laughing at him. Cody trying to get AJ, but, but the security, of course, there's always got to be security. The security, of course, tries to stop Cody. So Cody, you know, he's like pacing back and forth. Well, you can tell he's pissed. So he, so he, so he walks to the gorilla position. Uh, he walks out to the arena. That part, I love the fact that they didn't play. Um, they did not play any music. I, it's small, but I love stuff like that. It gives off the impression that what's happening right now is not a part of the show. Like this is completely not what in the show's format stuff like that all the time. I love when they do stuff like that. And Cody grabbed the microphone and said, AJ, get your ass out here. And I'm like, yes! Why couldn't they do this? Okay. <laughs> he said, hey, 
He said, AJ, get your ass out here. I'm, I'm, I don't want to wait. I'm out here in the ring. We need some security. Get out here so I can whoop your ass, right? Loving it. And AJ comes out. AJ comes out with his theme music. And he is pretty much implying that, you know, he's pretty much saying, listen, I don't care what you want, but I know what I want, and I want another shot at your WWE championship. Well, how are you thinking about it, Cody says? You want it, you got it. But I'll tell you this though. At Clash of the Castle, I'm not, I don't want to just beat you. I'm gonna make you say the words that you should have said last week. That is I quit. And Nick Aldis liked the idea, gave the thumbs up, and we're going to get AJ Styles versus Cody Rhodes. For the WWE Championship in an I quit match. Love it. Love it. Then, all of a sudden, out the blue, Cody just says, fuck it. <laughs> he tries to go at AJ. He's beating up all security uh, one by one. And then they're all holding, uh, they're all holding, ho holding uh, Cody back. Don't you, I just love the fact, I just love the fact that it takes like, 12, 20 people to hold Cody back. They always hold the Cody back, but never the other person. It's funny. Um, and about the whole time they're holding Cody back, AJ is free. He's laughing. He's just laughing at Cody. And then he then AJ did the, he did the sucker punch. You know, he, did the, he, did, he did that classic yell sucker punch, right? When he when the one person's not looking, and then, and then AJ just goes, bitch! And then <laughs> up on AJ, oh, Cody. Did the phenomenal forearm, a jumping forearm on Cody. And then AJ ran back up the ramp. And they're still holding back Cody while Cody is selling the forearm. And I thought this was good stuff between AJ and Cody. And we're getting an I quit match between these two guys. Now, I have said... Uh, I've been on record in saying that I thought the match that Cody and AJ had a backlash was fantastic. I absolutely loved uh, their match. In fact, outside of the creative direction, most of Cody's championship matches post WrestleMania have been really damn good. You know, I loved him and AJ. I thought him and Logan Paul was fantastic. And I fully expect this match to be fully fantastic as well. Now, of course, of course, Cody's not losing. He's not going to say, I quit. Okay, it's obvious it's going to be AJ. Which hearing AJ say, I quit, will be crazy. Um, But I'm very much looking forward to this match. And I really enjoyed what they did tonight. And I want to see more of this Cody. Okay, especially... Now that The Rock may be potentially be coming back very, very soon, and we all know when The Rock comes back, it's going to be some crazy shenanigans when it comes to The Rock. Because we all know when The Rock comes back, there's literally no rules, no filter. When it comes to him, he can literally do whatever the hell he wants. We got to see more of this edgier Cody that's not going to take no shit when he faces The Rock. When he faces Roman, if he faces Roman again. And and more importantly, this should have been the Cody that we should have been gotten. Especially during that WrestleMania build. Because how they built up Cody leading up to that build ugh, was very hit and miss. But I enjoyed tonight's segment. Uh, let me know you guys' thoughts. How would y'all feel about uh, the Cody Rhodes, AJ Styles segment? Are you guys looking forward to AJ Styles and Cody Rhodes Clash of the Castle in an I Quit match? I very much am. Once again, if you haven't checked out the match of Backlash um, between these two, check it out. It was a very good old-school championship match. Um, AJ, despite him being 45, when he wants to, he still one of the very best in the business. And we all know Cody's Cody. So hit the like, subscribe button. Let me know you guys' thoughts about this segment. Are you guys looking forward to the I Quit match? And then I will talk to y'all later. Have yourselves a great weekend. And I am out. Peace.